So there's some very interesting things for, for SHIB that are happening right now. And the big SHIB push is actually about to begin. And this means for, for price, for optics, for really all things SHIB, this is going to be extremely beneficial. And I want to share this with you guys. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So right now, at the time of filming this video, SHIB is actually breaking out. This is going to be my second SHIB video of the day. So things are starting to move very, very quickly in the crypto market. And again, hopefully this is something that, that continues. But what I want to point out again is some fundamentals, some fundamental changes that have been taking place. First of all, let's talk whales. All right. People have talked uh, about whales being a detriment for Shiba Inu for a very long time. And I've always said that's not the case. Whales have actually been some of the most resilient holders. They've held up price for a long period of time. And we saw some very heightened uh, periods of activity when it comes to whales over the last, yeah, basically week and a half or so. Okay. As SHIB was starting to heat up, as the crypto market was heating up, that was not surprising at all. But what they've done now is they've actually kind of quieted down. They've, they've cooled down just a little bit. In fact, yesterday was a little bit of an outflow day, 155 billion SHIB. Not surprising as SHIB has ticked up slightly. They've taken a little profit, go figure. But why this is important is what the whales tend to do is right before we make some of these big moves, they tend to get very calm. They tend to be very quiet. They tend to not really do a whole lot. And that's what we're experiencing right now. Even though yesterday was still a, a what, 5.5 trillion SHIB day in terms of whales, it's kind of calm compared to what we experienced the days prior. There was a lot of volatility, a lot of volatility, a lot of buying and selling going on. But what we're experiencing now is that level-headed approach waiting for this next wave. And the next wave for SHIB, guys, is about to hit, okay? This is SHIB interest over time. So this is search volume. This is what people around the world are doing. And we obviously had that very nice spike as SHIB price moved up uh, towards November 12th. And then we've dealt with things kind of cooling down a little bit. But what you're seeing here is a level of uh, resilience in terms of search. So people are actually paying attention to uh, what SHIB Inu is doing right now. And this is actually very important for SHIB price because this is what makes more sustainable pumps, okay? We need to have strength through these. Otherwise, if you go into pumps too fast, you can retrace very heavily, like what we saw back here, obviously in March. And this was a little bit different because we saw kind of a, a big burst of outside retail excitement and then just it just stopped, right? As BTC corrected and everything cooled down, people got fearful in the market. We dealt with obviously black swan events along the way. And that's why SHIB what it did, did what it did. That's why the market did what it did. It, that wasn't really surprising at all. But times are starting to change a little bit. So you're seeing retail pay more attention. You're having more of those buy, more of those uh, clicks start to turn into buys. And I want to point out where some of this search volume is in fact so dominant. You guys can see some of the biggest crypto hubs in the world are where some of these this major search traffic is coming from. The US, Canada, Singapore, Netherlands, Austria. Actually, what's even interesting about this is India right now only has a is is at a 52, and India tends to be one of the most dominant Shiba Inu regions in the world. So we haven't even seen this really pick up in a big way yet, and that's where this is really so exciting. But what I also want to point out is that there is going to be a big push by some of these top exchanges when it comes to Shiba Inu. For example, uh, the Shiba Inu lead, Shaitoshi, was talking about a very interesting move that is being done by Crypto.com. And what they're doing is that for people staking Crow, they can actually earn SHIB as rewards. We know that many of these uh, top exchanges throughout the world have been accumulating Shiba Inu reserves amongst other assets. And so people can actually be rewarded over the next 18 days, specifically by December 6th, for staking Crow and earning Shiba Inu. So this is a very interesting push by exchanges. And what people need to remember is that these exchanges are businesses. And I know I talked about this maybe like a month ago or two months ago. You're going to see this push by exchanges for some of the top coins in the space as we get into alt season, because guess what? The more trading that takes place, the more volume there is, the more money they make, okay? And some people say, oh, that's terrible. Well, you know, it is what it is. They're a business, right? But the same at the same time, volume is a good thing. Volume is what moves price. Okay. Luckily, Shiba Inu has been at this point where it's been over $1 billion in daily volume for a substantial amount of time here now. And this can really begin to rocket the further we get into alt season. I'm not sure if this is going to show this or not, but and maybe I should have had this pulled up. But if we look at what's what volume was like um, all the way back here in 
the the height of the bull market, there were days of tens of billion dollars or tens of billions of dollars in terms of daily trading volume. For example, there was thirty nine billion dollars in daily trading volume back in October October twenty sixth of twenty twenty one. Okay. Rewind all the way back to uh, May of 2021 when SHIB went on its nice spike. We're talking about tens of billions of dollars. So there is actually more trading volume currently than there was even as we were starting to make this this early run in 2021. And we're not even to that time frame yet. That's why this is this is so crazy what's taking place. It's it's funny because I've still seen comments, people talking about SHIB being a scam. It's dead. Blah, blah, blah. It's all this thing. And I don't know what they're looking at, but this is why people don't make it in crypto. This is why, frankly, people FUD themselves out time and time again. And, and the SHIB breakout continues as I'm talking, hopefully again. I would love to see this, this turn into this big move today, but you guys get the point. Everything is, is kind of really starting to come together and people are finally starting to see this big wave that is about to hit crypto. Again, the alt season, like I talked about in my earlier video, it's going to be the biggest one we've ever seen. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I appreciate you guys as always. Again, if you guys have not checked out Marjex, definitely do so. Again, even just that position, like I talked about earlier today, it's up 44% now. That's that's what leverage can do. Know that there is some risk that comes with that. So just be aware of that. Again, if you guys want to use that, there is a referral link in the description below, but have a great day. Show your love. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.